Hello goat lovers, Crystal here with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats and last night Elsa had three babies. She had quite the delivery to actually go through. It was, it was pretty rough. So Elsa's one of those who likes to give birth and screams really loud. She wants you right there by her side. So it was obvious when she did start going into labor, but <clears throat> earlier on in the day, she still had her ligaments, but was acting off. She was just acting different than, than the day prior. And I could tell that her udder had bagged up quite a bit. So I knew it was potentially going to be throughout the day, probably going to be an evening kidding, which it was. Um, but her first baby, let me see. This little guy. I know, let me just see him. They are big, big kids. Um, but look at him. We've never had a white one. So he's pretty, pretty cool. He doesn't have the blue eyes and he is horned, which he could have been pulled because she's bred, bred to Lucky. And of course he could have got the blue eyes from Miss Elsa, but it's funny. He's just a little mini me. So he came out, she pushed him out. She just started pushing really not very long once she for real started pushing. And that kid just shot out like a rocket. Um, it was, it was a little shocking. Wasn't expecting that, but it happened. So with the next little kid, let's see if he'll let me get him. Come here. Also a beefy little boy. She definitely fed herself well with these kids. This little boy wanted to come out with one little hoof and that's all that was coming out. So it was like, great. What are we going to do? I knew I had to push the kid back in. Um, well, after going in, I could tell that this kid's head, it was just one hoof, this leg was back, and his head was crooked all the way back. So poor Elsa, um, I had to push, push him all the way back in and try to get his head around, which I did. I was able to do so. Luckily, she's such a large doe, so, um, maneuvering a kid in her isn't too, too hard. It's rough on her, of course. It's not the funnest thing for me either, but I was able to get this kid's head forward and able to get him out okay. So, another little boy. He's got blue eyes and he's horned. And he gave mama trouble, didn't he? Yes, he did. And Elsa never has problems just passing her kids, really. <clears throat> She's always had really, really easy labor, so... It didn't take me long to know something was up after she pushed hard like four times. Like, before the hoof come out, I was like, great, something's going on. Because again, most of her kids shoot out like a rocket, like the first one. Um, ooh, I thought she stepped on her. So anyway, this little boy gave her some trouble. And then the next kid. Um, I knew she had another one, potentially two more, but because she was just so big, but that's how she rolls. And then so anyway, the next kid... Same, same scenario, but this one was coming out with the sack, and then I saw in the sack just one hoof, and I was like, great. So, let me get this one. This is the biggest baby, and it's a girl, and she is pulled, but she also just wanted to come out with one hoof. Her leg was back. I don't know if she was like... I don't know what was going on in there. I just know that her head was crooked back. Her body was underneath her. It was all kinds of stuff. She was tangled mess in there. Um, so I had to help her with this little girl also. And then when she came out last night, my gosh, she looked like a giant. We were like, well, her name's Enormous. There's her E name. Uh, but she is, she's pretty big little doe. So, but finally got her out and, uh, there it was. That was her last baby. So she had kind of a rough labor. Never had to assist El with Elsa before. Um, and, and all things considered with assisting. I mean, it, it went pretty well considering her, her kids were so tangled up like that. Not an ideal situation, but they all survived. They're all really, really super healthy. And Elsa's doing awesome, aren't you, girl? Yes, she is. That was the story with Elsa's labor. So, all right, suddenly things have changed and Crystal has to uh, set with Mayo and Shilly. So uh, me and Emily are going to keep on working. The first thing we have to do is move Elsa, Lodi, and Cassie into the milking stall because we've got other goats to put into here. So right here is Elsa's three. And they're not very old. I mean, they're not even a day old. 
So right now they're just looking around. Hey, this is nice. This is nice. But it's going to get awful rambunctious in here as we go. Okay, here's little Lodi. Making friends, kind of. Oh, a little Lodi. Okay, so this little booger here, and these two are Cassie's, and they are now in the, the daycare pen. Okay, so I pulled the three girls that kitted last night and yesterday out of the uh, birthing stalls and put them into the milk pen. And you can see um, how it's working. They go right back to headbutting each other and, uh, you know, and trying to establish the pecking order. Now Cassie is looking in her stall for her kids, but she will stop. And everybody else, it's like a big shake up. They're all just trying to uh, establish the pecking order and dominance again. And they've already mostly forgotten about the babies. I'll be right back. I'm going to go get you guys some more friends. Look at that little Lodi there. <laughs> All right, so story time. When me and Crystal started our farm shenanigans about a decade ago, I kind of had one rule. That was no animals in the house. And then our oldest daughter, Iris' mom, um, she moved out and she got a dog, of course, and then she didn't want the dog, so she brought the dog over. And now that little dog is living in my house, and, and you'll have that. And then uh, our uh, oldest dog, Dixie, the, uh, the black beagle one, um, she's getting really old, and when it gets cold, I've been bringing her into the house at night, and again, you'll have that. But this is what I was talking about. This was the, uh, the rule there. I'm not even sure how many there are, but there might be 13 of them. I think it's 13. Is it 13, Emily? Yeah. 13 of them. But this is what I was talking about. The smell is not too bad, but the dust. So there is Dreamers 3. That one's already, look at him kick flipping around. And that is the little dink -a dink who was acting like she was in charge of the, uh, of the kennel. Look at him hibbity hopping it. Yeah, look what I can do. All right. Heck yeah. <laughs> Here comes Crystal with Lily's kids. They're so cute. There's Lily's kiddos. Hi there. Here is Maybelline's little doe and Maybelline's little buck. It looks like Daddy Vader. Huh. Yes. These are Abilene's. We got quite a few black and whites, but I'm, I know how who they are in their pattern, so we'll be all right. Here you guys go. Have fun. We have photographic evidence of who's who. And memory. With the goats, anyway. That's a lot of black and whites. <laughs> who's who? <laughs> Hi. Hi. Oh. Here comes trouble. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're so cute. She'll be easy to pick apart. Right. <laughs> These are Roxy's little surprise bucklings. They're super sweet. Ready? Go play. Who are you guys? That's Lily's dough there, right? 
This one? Yeah. Yeah. Kick flipping. Oh no. Lots of excitement. <laughs> What do you think? Here's the Dinka Dink. She is doing awesome. She was really, really funny in the cage last night, at, or yesterday. She was showing dominance to all the bigger goats. She's definitely the smallest. Um, and somebody had originally purchased her. And you're right. And I was keeping doe number three. But due to the fact that she almost passed and I just kind of had to keep a really extra close eye on her, I offered him the one that I planned on retaining. Um, just because when I sell a goat, I want to make sure you have the best of the best, a super healthy, thriving animal. Um, and, and, you know, we weren't real sure what was going to happen with her. So she's doing really awesome, but um, we are going to keep this little girl instead. Ain't that right? She's just really funny. <laughs> She's the dinky dink. Huh. Go play. Hi guys. Now I don't know if we're gonna leave these babies in the A-frame tonight or if we're gonna move them into a stall. It just depends on who's in labor and what's happening. But for right now, we just gotta get them out of the house. We can so we can clean up in there and uh, if they have to come back in tonight because it gets cold, then I guess we will. Of course we will. But for now, they're just gonna get some sun and have some fun. All right, birthing stalls. So we did have Tansy and Val together because this is kind of how it worked out in a pinch. And uh, But now we've separated them because Crystal's about 90% sure that Tansy here is in labor. And Val has been moved to where Lodi was. And Grand Champion May is in the stall that Cassie was in. I'm not sure how excited she is about it. There you go, May, some tasty hay. So now, eight goats have kitted, and there are six goats in the birthing stalls, and that's 14. So there are nine or 10 or 20 left. And we have separated the ones that are yet to kid, which is in this stall. And we have Sky right there, little bit in the, in the uh, pallet pen there, pallet structure. And then we have Ruby, Becky, and of course the Camus Damus. All of them have yet to kid, but it won't be long. And up here we have Vogue and Made It, who were not bred this year. And then hiding right there in typical fashion is Woe, Nelly, and Nova, but all you can see is their eyeballs. And uh, they were bred, but they just didn't take. And right here we have Grandma Lacey, which is uh, our first retired goat. We've never had, we've never retired a goat before. Grandma Lacey is the uh, the first one to earn the title. So whenever we separate or pull a girl out of the birthing stall and put her into the milk pen, you know we uh, we drain them out. So we didn't, Crystal didn't think she had time at the moment when we moved them, but now she has found the time. So she's going to go ahead and drain Cassie, Elsa, and Lodi just you know helps get that milk production up and going and uh keeps those udders nice and even they really her triplets have not drained her very much at all so she's making way way more milk than she needed for those triplets which is good this is her third year and her udder is ginormous which is what you want out of a dairy goat so good girl Me, First milking for little Lodi. Right there. Sweet baby. Now Lodi knows that there's a, uh, Lodi knows the milk stand has food in it. If you guys have been watching for a while, you'll remember about this time last year, Lodi was just too small. She was an escape artist. And every time Crystal was trying to milk a goat, Lodi would break into the milk pen and kind of try to eat the food right out of the uh out of the bucket there while another goat was on the stand it was adorable and frustrating at the same time but eventually lodi got big enough to where she can't fit out the fence anymore and and 
And then we bred her and here we are. First milking from the little Lodi. You still need to put your feces up there? All right, let's check you out. <laughs> what are you doing, she says. <laughs> <laughs> What's what, happening, girl? Lodi? You got some other tension, sweetie. It's a, it's a strange week for these uh for these first fresheners. Probably feels something like spring 2020 to uh <laughs> it, it probably feels like what spring 2020 felt like to us, something like that to them. Just every everything got turned upside down and here we are. Your little teeth are gonna have to stretch, girl. Yeah. Lucky can't breed with Lodi, right? They're related. Yeah, probably shouldn't. Right? It's her uncle. They could, but. Oh, oh, Whoa. Maddie. A real live escape just happened right in front of us. Good eye, Emily, and good hustle getting over there. Let's see if I can catch her one-handed. Oh no. Out and around, Emily. Keep going, Emily. Darren, it'd be great if you were being helpful. That way, Emily. Quicker. Far from birthing stalls. Is where she wants to be. But Dad, Darren, and Emily, they ran and caught me. Okay, watch, latch that. <laughs> latch that bottom one, too. Sorry, Lodi, for interrupting your, your camera time. <laughs> She really got a lot of milk in this little letter. She's not happy about it though. Yeah, I had yeah. to relieve you. Okay. Emily. Oh, God dang it, I'm All right, mom, calm down. You got this. What's with all these single hooks? I don't know. Emily, come with me. We'll drain her out, Ma. Emily, what? Okay, so this is just crazy and I'm gonna have to wrap it up right here.